Cool, so I'm making this video just to maybe try to help other people that might want to do the same thing. I'm uh, going to be adding LED lights inside. So I bought these LED lights, some LED strip lights. They're like nine bucks on Amazon. I'll make sure to put a link in the description so that way you find them as well. So what I'm doing is, is I'm gonna be removing this light to try to see, or try to find out like what, what the voltage is coming from this. Cool. It's nice because it's actually just a positive and a negative, which I can use my multimeter. Put it on DC voltage. So what I've done is put the leads on each of this uh, one, which then tells me that it is 12 volts, volts, which is perfect because that's what these lights are, 12 volts. So I know on this side, this part is the positive side, because that's what I said on my multimeter. So I can touch these lights, I touch the ends, and as you can see, I have light. And you see how it's a lot better than that yellow, which will make it real bright in here. So I have a bunch of this 22-4 wire that I have like left over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to splice into this right here, and I'm going to run this through these back. So that way you can't see it. Yeah, see through these holes. And I'm then gonna place the LED along this and then along here so that way I can see. And then I'm probably gonna put one, like another one back through this way. <clears throat> so I end up using this. Uh, wire like a clothes hanger that I had to fish it through so now what I'm gonna do is just gonna tape this to it tap into this Use one of these connectors in the white and green so I'm gonna cut those off
connect this to the red. Cause that's the positive side. It's not really smart to do this while it's live, but. Okay, so that one's good. I'm also gonna tap into this one. Twist this together. Stuff that back in there, so we're good. So the next thing I'm doing is taking the light and I'm going to measure and see how much I need. I'm not going to need about this much, so I'm going to cut it right there. I can okay, so now that I've uh, cut this wire to its length, I have to like take this waterproof stuff off of the light so that way I can get to these contacts there's also LED lights that don't have this waterproof which work just as fine so the next thing I'm gonna do if I have to get down here is I'm gonna add solder to those leads so that way I can wire this or solder the wire to it as well Next thing is now taking this wire and stripping what you need back. two of these wires so I'm just gonna cut the white and green so I don't need those so that way I can put solder on them I'm just gonna dip them in there Adding solder to the end of the iron and then just tapping it gently because
And I have to fish it through this side. So I'm gonna use this fish. Let me make shift. Fish that through there. Use some tape again. Don't need much. Cut this because that should be plenty enough. So, on this side, I already had, I could have worked from this side, but I soldered the other end. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just strip this back. Again, I don't need the green and white, so I'm just going to cut that off. Strip this back. I'm going to uh, like put these together using these uh, connectors that I have. So you make sure red goes to red, black goes to black. Push this back through here. Try to use a zip tie to zip tie that there. Alright, so this one's gonna be a little bit more tricky because I'm gonna have to solder it up here connected. So what I'm doing is feeding this over here, coming this way, so I know I don't probably need about that much, which is cool. It gives me a little bit of slack. So, probably should have had this in my hand. So, I'm going to say that right there. I'm already good. I'm going to go ahead and cut this back get to the the leads on this I'm 
Don't cut yourself. <laughs> this one out as well much cut it might as well go ahead and do this too and then I'm gonna add solder to each end of this So I'm going to add solder to the end of these leads. Again, I'm only going to use the red and black, so I'm just going to cut this green out of here. I forgot to mention this, but when it comes to these LEDs, you only need like a tad bit of wire. this to the top of the van so that way it's already like stuck to the surface and I don't have to be fumbling it within the air So just put it at the, on the end. So also you got to make sure that on this LED wire, there's a cable that you're put. You're making sure that you're putting it where it's supposed to go, on the positive and the negative. that back there now you can't even tell okay so this time I've like went ahead and routed this through here <clears throat> and I'm just gonna do the same thing again with this wire it's kind of easy to do that when it wasn't as hard I'm going to strip these back black so just taking those away and I'm gonna add some solder to the end of these just dipping it in the flux
just gonna stuff this back in there. So I'm going to go ahead and measure this out as well on this side. I see that, yeah, that should be plenty. So I'm going to cut it right here again along this. So it me to, I'm going to use this again to just kind of cut it. What I'm doing is I'm getting in between like the bottom and the like waterproofing plastic stuff. And you can just kind of like rip it off. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and measure this out as well on this side. I see that. Yeah, that should be plenty. So I'm gonna cut it right here again along this so I'm going to use this again to just kind of cut it what I'm doing is I'm getting in between like the bottom and the like waterproofing plastic stuff kind of like rip it off. Do the same thing on this side. I actually didn't even need to do one side, I just needed. I'm gonna go ahead and stick it up there. And I can just solder to it once I've got it. Strip this back in. Add some solder to it. You're gonna just let it flex. So what I'm going to do now is connect these leads. I'll put it over. It's kind of hard on the other side. Get that hot. Cool. Awesome. So now it's... Then and I'm put this back.
Okay, so I made some finishing touches and like put some hot glue just so that it would stick. This is kind of messy, but put the hot glue there as well. And we did the same thing to this. And did it over there as well. So this is the final product. So much more light now. I got a strip up there, right here, right here. I can see everything in here. <laughs> 